Monster Energy shows its sponsored athletes living the lives that thousands of teenage fans crave, whether or not they're old enough to take part. Okay. Do you want to fondle our oranges? Kathy's not 18 yet. Oh, Can't fondle oranges. More years, Just kidding. Monster also has a Monster Army, a program that invites X game type athletes ages 13 to 21 to, quote, represent the Monster Energy brand. Holla at your boy, Monster Army. Until recently, kids as young as six years old could sign up to be in the Monster Army Reserve. But the highly caffeinated energy drinks that Monster sells, over $2 billion worth in 2012, raise red flags for many. There have been five deaths possibly linked to consumption of Monster Energy drinks. Dennis Herrera is the city attorney of San Francisco, and his is the first governmental body to sue an energy drink company. His suit charges that Monster Beverage Corporation mislabeled drinks as a dietary supplement, adulterates drinks with unsafe levels of caffeine, markets aggressively to children despite known health risks, fails to warn consumers of the dangers of overconsumption. I think the most important thing that we're doing right now is calling attention to something that is becoming increasingly visible, the safety of energy drinks. Though medical research on the link between caffeine and kids' health is not conclusive, a letter signed by 18 health experts recently warned the Food and Drug Administration of the serious potential health risks of energy drinks. Dr. Christine Madsen, one of the co-signers, is a pediatrician and a researcher at both UC San Francisco and the Public Health Nutrition Program at UC Berkeley. The biggest concern that we have as pediatricians and people in public health is that large amounts of caffeine actually cause cardiac arrhythmias. That means your heart starts beating funny. And you have kids out there who, who don't know this, but they actually may be predisposed to actually develop fatal arrhythmias. The letter urged the FDA to take action to protect young consumers. Monster Energy denies any connection between its products and adolescent health problems. In fact, Monster sued Herrera before Herrera filed his own lawsuit, saying that he is unfairly singling out Monster, outside of his jurisdiction, in violation of the company's constitutional rights. However, the health questions surrounding caffeine and kids could soon be answered. The FDA has now announced that it will investigate the safety of added caffeine in food products, particularly for children and adolescents. In San Francisco, this is Claire Major reporting for the Lawyers.com channel.